The course was brilliant because it just showed me more how I can network with other businesses and how as a small business I can be able to encourage other businesses to grow and also build a community. I, I thought it was actually awesome. Um, I've learned a lot about uh, marketing strategy, building relationships, um, communities, networking um, and there's just so much more to learn about it and I think it's an absolutely awesome concept. Basically the power of a relationship in, in, in a business uh, uh, situation which is in most cases what we lost. In the past we, we liked following processes and protocols and stuff like those but the, the power of personal touch in, in, in any business especially SMEs uh, that's what I got out of it and how to use it to our advantage and uh, basically connecting to all those communities that we've created from the relationships we've made to one just person. Of course, it's a learning about yourself, about relationships, about working with people and to doing something different to what you'd normally do. My experience was such a different one, you know, it was a different approach where people were interacting on such a personal level, you know, it just broke down all those barriers and I just think if we can use that, you know, the majestic approach, you know, everyone would go for it. Big way forward. Um, yes, definitely. I think we do not build enough um, on client relationship, and we actually neglect the clients that we need to actually build those relationships with to build the business. It's mind blowing. This is the only way to build relationships, sustainable relationships using a system. Because as individuals, we don't do it. I think it will really assist me in making my dreams dreams come true. Um, really, just put some wings on it. This is the only place where you come for a seminar, you create relationships and you actually get business out of it because that relationship is built within a very short period of time through the systems that he has taken us and I think it's brilliant. So uh, Scott, that was wonderful. I think uh, the Majestic is, is the way to go. I mean, why should we as human beings not relate to another human being? Why do we need to look at Ronald McDonald and have and our children have more, more a stronger personality or relationship with Ronald McDonald than they do with sometimes their own parents or their own people around them? We're losing personality. And that is why, for me, small businesses are the future. And I don't band around this term world micro business domination for nothing. I firmly believe that we need to create a future that is not driven by large corporates who have very little personality and truly hurt the individual employee as opposed to small business owners who can be free, they can teach, they are flexible and they can make changes in an economy that is currently falling apart, in a planet that's falling apart. We have environmental issues, we have environmental crisis, we have uh, water crisis, we have food crisis, we have energy crisis, we have, uh, uh, what is it? Petrol crisis. Petrol crisis, there we go. We're in a crisis crisis at the moment. And for me, the solution to the, all these problems lies in small businesses, becoming authentic once again and adopting nature's principles. Now we've talked about nature's principles for a while now, so I want to tell you where, we come, where I come from, from Majestic, and why I believe these techniques work so well because they literally do work the same way as plants and animals around us work. Nature works. You know, as soon as you fight nature, we start to have problems. Let me give you an example. Do you think it's natural for us to have be banded around, pushed in our face every day, ads for a home loan? I bet you every one of you has seen an ad for a home loan. Is that natural? Why isn't it natural? There we go. That's the key. Now what's happened to us is all these TV ads and radio ads are pushing things in our face constantly. Bang, 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 and we just get inundated, hoping that that little 1% or the 0.1% of the population is going to go, hey, I just happen to need a home loan. It's wasteful. So that's unnatural. Who is, see if you can, anyone can give me the answer, who do you guys think is the one businessman or the business industry that are the ultimate salesman? They do everything as naturally, as, as far as sales go, as naturally as possible, and that's why their closure rate is almost 100%. Anyone have, want to have a guess? What industry has 100, almost 100% closure rate because they adopt natural principles? Doctors. Got it. Did you get that from my book or did you figure it out now? Because I'm one. Ah, there we go, okay. <laughs> okay, anyone to tell you, why doctors? What do doctors do? Yeah? Well, no, but at the end they fix you, but what do they fix? Is it then that's fixing you? What's doing the fixing? Medicine. The medicine, the medication that they flog to you at ridiculous prices. Okay, so that's how they work. So what ha let's talk about the process now. 
okay, I'm not feeling very well. I've got a really, really bad headache. I've had it for two days and it's not going away. I'm thinking, what could it be? Is it the food I eat? Is it I've been drinking too much? Is it the X? What's, what, what's the issue? Drink more water. Okay, there you go. Maybe. Could be because I'm dehydrated. But what do I do? I don't know. So I go to a doctor. And what does a doctor do? Does a doctor sit there and go, you know what you need, Scott? You need these great knee things to make your knees straight and strong. And you need muscle relaxants. And just from India right now, we've just got this great Viagra, which is not really Viagra. It's a clone, but it's fantastic. I know you'll love it. And now we're going to give you some screen, skin cream and put all this together and say, I'll give it to all. 20% off if you buy it all now. Is that what a doctor does? But what do we do in our businesses all the time? Exactly that. We, 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 we give flat pamphlets with item after item after item of every single product and service that we offer in the hope that somebody who receives a flyer is going to read through every single one of them and just hope that that one little product or service just might need at this particular time. Ludicrous. It's wasteful. So what do doctors do? You walk in there and you sit and the doctor doesn't say anything. He says, hello, Scott. And often he doesn't even need to, you need to say, tell me what your problem is. Because you know that's the question going to be asked. And what do you do? Blah, 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 blah. And they write and write and write and write and write down. What does he do then? After he's got that information, based on? Diagnosis. Exactly, his diagnosis. And what do, you, what do you do? You take the prescription and you? Buy, with almost 100% success rate. Very seldom do you not take what he's offered. Am I right? So they're doing something right, okay? And most other businesses are doing something wrong. So let's talk about how that works. Why is this, why do doctors work? Well, I like to look at the universe and start quite big in my thinking. And here we have the universe. It's a very, very beautiful place. And um, there's something very interesting about the universe. Because if you take, these were taken from the Hubble telescope, by the way. If you were to take an, a photograph of a galaxy. This is a galaxy over here. Anyone know how many stars a galaxy has in it? between 100 and 400 billion stars, each the size of our own sun. It takes light, literally years, to go from one end to the other. So we're talking about a relatively big piece of space. Notice anything about the shape that this makes? The spiral shape. That's right. Very interesting, this little spiral space. Got me hooked for the last couple of years on something that I find absolutely fascinating. And this kind of spiral is in a galaxy that contains hundreds of billions of stars. Let's zoom in a little bit. There's another galaxy. What do you notice again? A spiral again. Okay, so there's something interesting here. There's a bit of a commonality. Why do these spirals make the shape? There's another one. Here we have two spirals next to each other. Very, very beautiful thing to look at. Here we have the spiral again. Okay, something's interesting. On the left, we have another galaxy. On the right, that's right, it's a cloud. It's the inside of a tornado. So now we've come down, back down to Earth, and we see almost exactly the same spiral shape in the way that the clouds are vortexing. The spiral shape again. Hmm. Okay, so it's 100 billion stars, a very large galaxy, and something as small as a tornado, which in our perspective is something quite big and quite devastating. Let's come down to Earth even more. What do you notice about that cactus? Spiral shape, okay. Now it's not just any spiral shape, the spiral shape happens to be exactly the same spiral shape for every one of these photos that I'm showing you. A mathematically precise spiral shape. Sunflower. Here we have it. This is a slightly more complicated version of the spiral. You have to see all these spirals coming off it. One, 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 one. It's a very, very beautiful thing to look at. We start to see nature, the spiral shape coming all over the place. One of the most famous versions of this is a nautilus shell. In fact, I don't have my wallet here. I actually carry around with me a fossil of one of these shells with that exact same spiral shape on it. So what's this Scott getting at now and how is this going to help me in my business? Recognize this. 